Hey y'all, Bunkle here. Hope you've been having a great day. In this video I'm going to be opening. 1993 Series 2 football cards. Randomly inserted. Special tops. Black gold cards. Black gold. Pretty cool. No, not... No, not that kind of black gold. It's going to be a black gold card. They're specially inserted cards. It's a, uh, I guess you'd say a short insert series. Uh, somewhere around 50 cards part were inserted in series one packs. Other part were inserted in series two. Now, I guess the other interesting part about these is there is a parallel gold set. Um, basically, all the cards that were printed also have a gold parallel card. Um definitely a lot less common than the regular cards so finding those could be pretty cool now series two um you don't really have any major rookies uh cards that might be great to find would be things like uh, of course any hall of famers uh dan marino or uh let's see who else uh, there might be dan marino card in here there might be a jerome bettis uh the bettis gold could be a good one uh if you're looking at psa values the Bettis Gold is actually the highest valued one, uh, about 175 bucks uh, in, in a PSA 10. Uh, if we do pull one PSA 10, now again, junk wax error and all that, centering is uh, could be an issue in these. Uh, we'll find that as I open them. Now, as I mentioned before, I definitely hope you've been having a great day. Hope every day is a blessed one for you. Let's get rolling and started on these and see how these open up. Uh, let's see. Okay. I should probably have a scissor ready. I do have my frappers good to go. So let's see what cool stuff we find in these. Starting off with Charles Mann. Now, I don't like the way that the lettering looks on those. Maybe it's just my bad eyes. But that green on the yellow, and that font, it's just really, really blurry in a lot of ways. I do like the action shot. Action shot's pretty cool. And you get, of course, the mug shot there. Career, as well as a bit of a what happened, what uh, highlights he's had. We have a Troy... Ozen, Wayne Simmons from the Packers, Levon Kirkland, Mark Clayton with the Raiders, Chris Goody, good, Lamar Layton, Ernie Jones. Yeah, that's really funky, also. Jesse Solomon. Mark Carrier, Greg Lloyd, 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 Tony Woods, Cannabis McGee, okay, or Cunavis McGee, Cunavis, okay, interesting name, and Monty Coleman to wrap that part of the pack up. Get to part number two. There's a no black gold. No, not that black gold. You're not going to find oil in this. That's for sure. This is not the Beverly Hillbillies. There we go. Okay. Now I got that side. And it looks like I might get the other one also. I don't know why these give me trouble. Just yank them apart, but I don't want to damage the cards. Card damage on my part would not be a good thing. There we go. All right. No gum in these, so no crunch. That's odd. Some of them are upside down, backwards, and all of that other stuff. Again, Junk Wax Era. Ooh, looks like there's a couple cool ones there. I'll save that for after. All right. Starting off with Rich Miano. 
Derek Fenner. Now, you tell me you could read that. That's horrible. I can see it's Andre Reed, but that's really bad. Like, very, very blurry print. It's that red on the yellow also. And really tiny there. Vancey Glenn. Eric Pogrom. Eric Clay Matthews. Okay. Nice card there. Robert Jones. Santana Dotson. Anthony Newman. As opposed to Anthony Oldman. Michael Urban. All right. Well, that's a good find. I'll frapper that one up. Carnell Lake. Herschel. Got a Herschel. Herschel Walker's always a great find. He's with the Eagles there. Anthony Smith. Willie Galt. Yeah. As if. Chris Mims and Jeff Graham. So I'd say we got two good pulls out of that one. Herschel's always a nice one to find. That one front and center right now. Well, maybe I want to put it off to the side because I saw the surprise in the next part of this pack. Let's get Michael Irvin and Herschel Walker over there. And we're going to be starting off with Ernest Die. Robert Smith, 93 draft pick. And we have first gold card. Nice. Steve McMichael. And the second gold card. Yeah, a few of them in a row here. Shane Conlon. That's a cool one. I'll frap that one up. And the third one we have Ethan Horton. So I'll keep the gold ones on a separate stack there because that is a subset. And I will frapper that other one up. Got Rick Mirror, another draft pick. James Joseph, David Richards, another draft pick. Leonard Renfro, Gary Brown, Marvin Jones, Kirk Loudermilk, Eric Thomas. Hardy Nickerson, and Richard Brooks. So I'm going to frapper up that gold one. That is not the black gold version. That is just the standard gold version. Black gold will say black gold on the bottom. Very cool card. All right. Get to pack number two here. With all decorating and everything, uh, it looks like one of my pairs of scissors is gone from the table. So, got to use my knife right now. That didn't disappear. John Giesick was starting with here. Chris Hinton. Lummis Brown. Neil O'Donnell. See, this is much better coloring. Willie Roof. Bill Bird. Nope, it's Gil Bird. Ernest Dye, draft pick with the Cardinals there. Robert Smith, draft pick with the Vikings. Not much happened that year with draft picks. Stan Humphreys. Sam Mills. Marty Gartner. Russell Freeman. Jeff Hostetler. Nice Hostetler card there. Looks like he's about to fling it. And Phil Hansen wrapping that one up. I probably should have pulled the Willie Roof. I'm actually going to go back to that one. Now that's one that does have some PSA value. Let's take a quick flip. Let's see if I can find them quickly. You know what? I'm going to put the draft picks on the side anyway. Just in case. That's the one. Willie Roof. Keep that one on the side. And frap that one up. 
actually off left to right also. Still, nice card to find. Would have been better if that was nicely centered. These do look like they survived the test of time really well. Corners look good. Edges look great. Ooh, I see a couple gold cards there. I'm going to hide those for now from y'all. And get to this third part. Let's see what we find here. Daryl Henley. Shane Dronet. Kurt Govia, Dean Biasuki, Maurice Hersey, Eugene Robertson, Terrell Buckley, Jeff Gross, Michael Jackson, not that Michael Jackson, no moonwalking here, Tim Crumpy, Rod Woodson, all right, that's a cool card. Not frapperable though. Art Monk. I'll frapper up the Art Monk. Neil Smith. James Camper. A lot of these cards look a little bit off left to right. Not all of them. Joe Phillips and Tom Waddle. So let's frapper up the Art Monk. Keep that one over there next to those other draft picks. All right, let's see which ones were in here. Good surprise there, and that's another Willie Roof. And that one looks really nicely centered compared to the other one. Let's grab the other one. And you'll see the left to right on the bottom one is definitely a lot better than the left to right on the top one. So you know what? I'm going to sub that one out. You could sit back in the pile. And you're getting the frapper. There we go. That's a nice one. All right, we'll keep it moving now. And I'm seeing some golden stuff underneath there. Got Jesse Solomon. And who do we have here? Kevin Ross. Got three of them in a row there. Mark Clayton. And Harold Green. Nope. Nothing frapperable there. All right, we're seeing Mike Brim. Hugh Millen. Johnny Johnson, Greg Davis, Marcus Robertson, Broderick Thompson, Mark Ingram, Dave Lutz. Now, Compared to all the other players, he just looked completely out of place. Looked like they just were a guy in a uniform there. Jim McMahon. And Rod Bernstein. Bernstein. Like the Bernstein Bears. Okay. Clear that up. All right. Pack number three. I was lucky to grab these uh, not too long ago. I have a mail day video. I'll post a link down below when I got these. Uh, definitely a good purchase, I believe. Eric McMillan. Nice one there. Nothing worth writing home about, but nice card. Rena Thompson. John Stevens. Desmond Howard. Rob Cox. Yeah. <laughs> Reggie White. All right. Very cool. Nice Reggie White card. And Jackson. Waslo Jackson. Craig Reynolds. Nope. Craig Hayward. Dan Rootman. Norm Johnson, Derek Brown, Sheldon White, Steve Emmerich, and Dan Williams, draft pick with the Broncos. I'm going to keep that on the side also, just so I can go through the draft picks there. Not 
like I say, there weren't many draft picks that year that were really all that worth writing home about. Series 1 definitely had better rookies than Series 2. Alright, got part number 2 here. And I just want to also take the second while I'm opening this, just to say thanks much for all comments, subscribers, all of that stuff. Uh, make sure you check out the eBay store. I have a link posted below for that one also. This one has the gold. So yeah, make sure you check out the link. I have a lot of cool stuff going up on there. Cards, uh, baseball, football, hockey, uh, team sets, as well as Hall of Fame stuff that's gone up recently. Got Brian Mitchell. Yeah, I'm really not thrilled with the way that these look here. Chris Burkett, Dana Hall, Blair Thomas, Craig McMurdy. Now that's a Troy. I know that picture. That's a cool card. That's the concussion kid with the Cowboys. All right, keep that one right there on the side. I'm going to be frappering that one up. Larry Brown. Jeff Bryant, Broderick Thomas, Kevin Mack, Jim Wilkes, Steve McMichael, Carl Mecklenburg, Dayton Hilliard, Kevin Ross, and George Johnson with the Lions. So let's get the Troy Frapper. He'll go up on the Wall of Fame there. Now, I will go through these, the stack here in a bit, just to check and see if there's anything that may be worth grading, that might be worth it, uh, especially with PSA's uh, special pricing going on right now. Levon Kirkland, Chris Hinton. All right, our gold cards. We have a Kevin Smith. Nope. Jim Sweeney, and a Daryl Thompson. No, thank you. Garrison Hurst, Pat Swilling, Martin Harrison, Shane Conlon. It's another Conlon, and that's the same match as the gold card right there. Ronnie Lott, nice card there. Checklist. We all need the checklists. We all need lots of checklists. Boomer. I seem to be pulling a lot of Boomer Esiasons. Like almost every football opening I'm doing, I pull a Boomer, except for the 1980 I did. Of course, Tim McDonald. And we have our draft pick, DJ McDuffie. And Charles Arbuckle. So we'll get the Boomer Frappered. I know a lot of football fans out there like Boomer. Consider him extremely underrated. Anyway, so I'd say that that's probably one of the highlights. The Conlon, yep, and the Herschel. Herschel's always a great find, that's for sure. Awesome football player. Anyway, y'all take care. Stay well, stay blessed. Bunkle out.